Yes, can you identify yourself, please? Thank you. Fates Potter Deagle, Tonka Inajiwe, Hemiakshto. My name is Standing Stone. I'm an elected official of the Treaty Council of the Hangtua Oyate along the Missouri River in southeastern South Dakota. Good morning, relatives. I bring you strong words and actions from the Ihangtuan Treaty Council and the General Council and other elected officials that we reject this intrusion of any threats to our land, water, and children in Aboriginal and Treaty lands of the Ocheti Shakoe or the Seven Council Fires. Our Ihangtuan people on April 4th formally informed the Department of State that consultation process is flawed and that any consults must occur on Ihangtua homelands. The SEIS states that they have consulted the Yankton 159 times, which is a gross misrepresentation because consultation has not occurred once and the Department of State has broken their own federal laws regarding this process. 8,000 acres remain unsurveyed, which puts thousands and thousands of indigenous cultural and sacred sites at risk. The Department of State imposed a fragmented divisive process where tribes were forced to survey and compile documents that could not be shared, although all of these territories overlap. This is an egregious event to our people. Documented linguistic evidence points out that our Siouan dialect survives in five provinces in Canada. We see no border and 24 states in the U.S. thus firmly establishing our Aboriginal rights to protect NAGPRA sites and ceremonial sites on the cultural landscape, which also includes Genesis sites within the XL corridor and beyond. We stand with the Oglala Nation in forbidding TransCanada or XL, KXL from crossing 1851 and 1868 treaty territory and we will be there to meet you. The SEIS seeks to destroy our relationship with our seven animal species that are endangered or threatened. In our culture, they are deemed significant to our belief system, one of which is the whooping crane. Our singers are called cranes. They are called hoka. This is adjacent to the KXL pipeline. Their existence has been minimized and marginalized, and they are certainly at risk. Another item is that we have been given an inferior status in the programmatic agreement that was drawn up. We are not signatories. The states, the federal agencies were deemed much more important than us and were given signatory status. We are only concurring parties. That is totally socially unjust and is not acceptable to us. We do believe that Mother Nature, Inamaka, is speaking. On the 11th of April, the Department of State scheduled a consultation at the Ramcota in Rapid City, South Dakota, and you were uh, greeted with another blizzard. And I think, true to what my grandmother said, Nukcha means wooden ears, and I would re urge the Department of State to listen. Thank you. Thank from you. From the Hongtua Nation.